Today we're going to review removing basic paper jams from the body of the M525 and also the document feeder. The first place you want to check for paper jams on the M525 is the paper tray. This model has one 500 sheet tray, but this could have as many as three. Once the paper tray is removed, you want to make sure that the railings are all flushed against all four sides of the paper. You can adjust the paper tray by pinching the blue railings on either side to make sure that the paper is flush on all four sides. You can then open the main access cover to the printer, remove the toner cartridge. You then want to look inside the printer right in here for any kind of paper. Anything that is green has the ability to be lifted to gain access to remove paper jams. You can check in there. Once you've cleared the paper, you can reinsert the toner cartridge. You then want to check the output assembly right here for any paper that can be removed. And then finally, around the back side of the printer, you can check for paper stuck at the fusing assembly. Should experience a paper jam in the document feeder, you can open the lid here. You can check in here for paper, as well as lift an access panel here. And also turn this green knob here to help remove any small pieces of paper that might be stuck. Once closing the lid, you can then lift the main ADF cover and check in here for paper jams or any pieces of paper that are torn. And that is how you clear paper jams from the main body and the document feeder on the Hewlett Packard M525.